there was an article in a New Scientist last year, and it was about something called the Nocebo effect. Now, the Nocebo effect is the placebo's evil cousin. Um, you know, the placebo is something like a sugar pill, you take it and it makes you better, even though it's got nothing in it. So the Nocebo effect is when somebody believes that they're ill, and there was an example, there was one example that I thought was extraordinary. A man had severe stomach pains. He was referred to a consultant who ran a whole bunch of tests and said, you know, the news is not good. So the patient said, just tell me everything. I want to know exactly what you mean. He said, you have liver cancer. You're going to be in a lot of pain, but we can look after it. And the man said, how long have I got? And the consultant said, not more than three months, so start to prepare. So, it happened exactly as the consultant said. The man had terrible pain and they dealt with it, and he did die within three months. When they did the autopsy, they discovered that he was physiologically completely healthy. No liver cancer. The files had been mixed up. Because a man in a white coat said, you will die, within three months. And because he was suffering and everything else seemed to go just as it was told, his body shut itself down. And I am so interested, as you can imagine, in the relationship between the brain and the body. And in fact, I've started making a film now with 12 doctors who say that they feel they were mistaught biology at medical school. There are very different doctors from different health practices. They say that looking at the body as a piece of mechanical engineering will never give you good results because that's not what a body is. Um, they say the body is a locus of energy in an energy field. And I think that what happened in the shamanic journey is I genuinely shifted neural pathways in my brain and so I got a new signal to my body to say don't die, have a party, enjoy the rest of your life. Not in a rational conscious level because I've been saying stuff like that the whole time but deep down in my brain in a, and I think that's really important to understand the difference between giving yourself pep talks and actually shifting these chemical pathways in your brain that really affect your body. I think it's one of the most important areas of research that we have. I think in the shamanic journey, that totally shifted for me. I don't think it was coincidence because I was on such a clear path. You know, my lung function had dropped to 60 and was just going down, 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 down. And then interestingly, after I had the shamanic journey, I was completely sure that I was going to be well. And I had to go back to the hospital. And I walked into um, this hospital and I said to the staff, Do you know, you don't need to test me because I've had a shamanic journey and I'm going to be fine now. And, you know, in an Edinburgh hospital, home of, you know, rationalism for hundreds of years, you should have seen them. You know, they said, Right, okay, Amy. Poor thing, she's obviously taken a turn for the worst, it's gone into her brain. Um, and my big shock was that actually the results came back that I was still at 60% function, which is, is pretty bad, you know. And it took 18 months for it to very slowly climb up to 94%, which it got to be last year. And only then, you know, would they discharge me. I think that the very, very, <clears throat> you're going to think this is so bizarre. I think that if you are able, the very, very best thing you can do for the earth is really, really appreciate it. Really, really enjoy your life. Thank you.